So hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich, and I'm the channel host, and today we're going to go through a little bit of a project that I'm currently working on. So as I mentioned last week, I was starting to um, work on a new project and actually get the project to start with. So number one, we got the project. We've got a new construction progression project here in Prescott, Arizona. Really exciting and I've already started into the project. So I wanted to share a little of it with you today. We're not gonna show you everything. We're not showing you the final edited version of the progression video that we're doing. We're doing progression video, progression stills, and we're also doing some ortho mosaic work for this particular client. This is gonna be a six to eight month project, so it's really exciting. But here's the, uh, here's the twist. We're only gonna do this once a month, so the client wants one progression video and images every month. So the changes are gonna be massive. The changes that we're gonna see from one month to the next are gonna be massive. And the construction progress that's going on already is blowing my mind. I've been out there two weeks in a row and the changes week by week have been incredibly noticeable. So doing it month by month is going to jump through a lot of the construction and progress that happens. So we're gonna go from poured concrete pads to fully built out buildings is what it seems like. But let's take a quick look at one clip and then we'll pop right back. All right, so just me walking through the open job site area there, I was just uh, taking a look around on a Sunday. Very interesting site, very unique proportions to the site. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take a look at the video that I've been working on. So this isn't the final progress video, uh, this is in process. In total, so what I did on the job site was I brought Litchi along with my drone. So we're using a Mavic 2 Pro, we're using the Litchi app to pre-program flights and pre-program areas to photograph from. So everything that you see on this is, uh, I can actually replicate it over and over again because I've already saved the mission paths. So each time I go to the location now, um, I can set the drone up, I can launch Litchi and have Litchi do each of these flights for me and also get all of my still photos for me. The only thing Litchi can't do for me is um, my 360 panos yet because I haven't picked the final locations where those 360 panos are going. So once I have that set, I'll make one more waypoint route that will do three 360 panoramics of the job location. So that should be real interesting. But let's take a look over on screen here and I'll just tell you about the location and we will also um, just take a look through the video. So here we go. So I'm watching this on screen, so number one, this is actually an ortho mosaic. So this is a still image that you're looking at right now. And this was actually cobbled together using Map Pilot this time. I decided to give Map Pilot a shot at this unique location. So it did a great job of creating a model and ortho mosaic for me. Now we're into some of the actual flight. As you can see, this is an interesting job site. We've got neighbors. Um, off on the right hand side of this screen. So we've got people who are going to be right above the construction site. We want, we don't want to go flying through their homes or anything to, um, to get our final video put together. So I was very conscious of where the drone was flying um, with the neighboring buildings in the background. And yes, we, we can fly in this area. So um, you know, FAA authorization. This is actually right outside of controlled airspace in the Prescott area. So I could fly anywhere I want to, but I wanted to make sure that I was being a good neighbor to the folks who are living right next to the construction site and making sure that we weren't buzzing their homes or making them feel like the drone was invading their space. We know that we're allowed to do those types of flights, but it's always, you know, in our best interest as drone pilots to make sure that we're friendly and helpful to the folks in our flight area and that we're doing everything we can to disturb or to minimize disturbing them. <laughs> we don't want to do everything we can to disturb them. We want to make sure that we're not bothering them. So we did a straight down uh, video as well showing off the overall construction site. So kind of in line with that ortho mosaic, but we're a little closer to the job site, not flying quite as high 
as we did with that ortho mosaic. So the ortho mosaic was actually shot uh, 200 feet above ground level, and it was 80 something images to achieve that. This video, by the way, is of course sped up. I was actually flying it slower because I wanted to make sure that we were avoiding that gimbal bounce. Now last week I showed this fly through here and I decided to reuse it because it is a very unique perspective on the job site and it gives people kind of an idea of, all right, we've got all these pallets out here. The next time that we do this flight again, a month later, all of this stuff's going to be moved out. Most likely we're going to have framed up buildings on this particular concrete pad. You get the idea. There's going to be some big jumps um, in the progress as we're putting these videos and stills together for our clients. And we're getting some more views here of the back building. So we've got an office building. I believe that there's going to be a rec area in here as well. And so this is a multifamily housing project. So, so multiple homes going into here, or actually, you know, multiple units going in here, I should say. I believe that building in the center is probably the office area, and maybe that's going to be a clock tower or something. We'll have to wait and see. But we won't see this uh, video again for another month, so I will be sure to bring that back. And there we go, that closed down. And I'm going to go ahead and close VLC. And once again, I also have spent this morning actually assembling a page for the clients where they have a, shli a slideshow of still images here, and they can actually go through those. So all of these still images have been marked in a waypoint mission in Litchi and set up to take the same exact photo on the next flight through. So we'll be able to give them comparisons month by month on exact photo setups, and we can also do it at exact times a day. We've also put together a um, presentation for the clients to give their final approval to. I think a little more editing is going to go on with this particular flight before it's all said and done. So not only are we doing the drone skills, the photo editing skills, and the video editing skills, we're also employing some, um, some web design skills as well. So the clients, we are giving them all of their information via Dropbox, so they're getting full files. But in addition to those full files, uh, I decided that it would be a great idea to have a simple space on my uh, website where the clients could come and take a look. And this is actually a password protected page, so you won't be able to pop onto this one, sorry. But so I've got two 360 panos. I'm not sure if the clients are interested in this or not. It wasn't an initial request, but I thought I would include it in this demo page for them uh, to give them some other ideas uh, to think on when it comes to how they want to present um, this construction growth over time. So there you go. I am definitely a tired guy. Last week I had several flights not only on this project. Uh, I had several flights on several other projects as well. Got a contact yesterday from another person who is doing a unique site build. It's a, it's a single home. Architects involved, similar to a project I did a couple weeks ago. And so we'll be out uh, filming and photographing and modeling that site this Friday as well. So that's why I'm looking a little tired, and that's why I'm late on the videos right now. So I do apologize uh, for being missing. I sh should have had a video out on Monday. Here we are on Wednesday. And actually, the moment that I'm done with editing this, I've got to get back to another web client's project. So things are looking busy here at uh, AZ Drone and RLC Design Services. And that's pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you the growth of this business over time. And hopefully I can bring you along on more of these projects. And I hope you had fun watching this quick video here. And you got some ideas for progression work that you might be doing. All right, everyone. We'll see you again next week. And hopefully it'll be on Monday. And I won't be so delayed. I think I'm going to catch up on a little rest this weekend. Because uh, running around out in the heat here in Arizona... Can, can really wear you down. So fly safe, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you again next week.